Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel and you find me today making a gold helmet because there's something very special coming to Minecraft soon and that something very special is the nether update. Um, It's a great thing. The nether used to be a very boring, well still is a very boring area um, that is only mainly used to travel and make gold farms but um, but now it's it's going to become so much more. It's going to become an area that we can gather, live, maybe even create a mega base. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. It's going to be pretty cool to see what people do with it. But yeah, today I'm going to spend a whole entire video. And as of recording this, I have four days, I think, until the another update comes out. But by the time you see this, it's probably like almost about to come out. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I'm just here at the railway. I don't know why I'm... I don't actually know why I'm here. As I was saying, I have to do some um, preparation, I guess you could say, uh, to work out exactly what we're actually going to be doing um, and exactly what we need. So I've gotten a few things. I've gotten some armor. And what I'm going to do with this armor is enchant it until I get um, fire protection uh, four on all of it because I am not going to die to lava. I haven't. We, we've been staying away from the nether all season, all this time on this world. Because, guess what, Realms, Minecraft Realms, doesn't, um, reset the nether or anything, I don't think. And I don't even think there's an option to reset the nether, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, there's a lot of things that Minecraft Realms could be doing different. If they made some upgrades, I think they could really make Minecraft Realms bigger than servers. Like, having more people on it, for example. So, yeah, I'm heading over to the Guardian Farm right now because I am going to do some enchanting. I think I've got an enchantment box, I think I've got my... Hopefully I do. Hopefully I have lapis. Yeah, but the Guardian Farm is just a place that I can go and, well, get XP. <laughs> I have entered and this place just looks as good as it ever was. One day I hope to make a full-on underwater city, which would be cool, but I don't think we'll be able to do it this, um, this season. Anyway, uh, let's just, yeah, get a heap of XP. Okay, so it just comes to my attention that there's actually going to be a lot of time put into this because I've got like one more fire protection book in a long time. Um, I've enchanted all of these and now I have to disenchant them so I'm going to do a very quick time lapse. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know. If it does, I'll put it in. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's perfect. It's perfect. That's fire protection three, unbreaking three, respiration three. I wouldn't call it perfect but it's definitely a fine because... We also have a couple, fire, we have a fire protection book, so we can make that fire protection four. And then we can add more stuff and more stuff, and we're going to get a very goated set of armor. And there we have it. Four. Get away from the guardians, they're really annoying. Um, four pieces of armor, all with um, fire protection four on them. That is great. I'm going to stick around here and get a little bit more enchantments on them. Uh, see what I can get on them, of course. And then, yeah, we should be good. Now, I'm just here, and I'm thinking, this is going to be basically our nether survival kit. So, we might even need to change the name. But, what do we need if that, um, we might, what do we have that we might need in the nether? I'm, okay, the shocker box is now finished. We have armor, we have a heap of totems, a heap of totems. I might even add some fire resistance potions later down the track. But, for now, um, that's good. We have... Flint steel, coal, um, obsidian, so we can light and make portals. And I also got some building blocks, because what about if we want to just get up somewhere and it's too risky to use our elytra? I don't really know. I just feel the spots with that. So, I think that is it for the nether portal. Um, however, there's not one more thing left. We need to make a nether room. I am actually going to build one. And I think I know where I'm going to build it. I was going to build a ice cavern down here until I thought, wait a minute, we actually um, don't need one, why bother? And so I'm thinking right now, why don't we build a nether portal right in this area? That could be very cool. Um, mm, I think we might come down here a little bit, shave off this little edge and then just put a big uh, maybe 8x8 eight eight portal. Whenever we need to access the portal, we just fly down this way and head in. Okay, so, um, 
I've I've sort of I sort of was gonna make like a little nether portal at the end, but then things sort of escalated. Yeah, I, I'm f building like a full on entrance. <laughs> it slowly fans out, and then we're gonna have like it's got this get even more wide because I'm trying to get it down to level sixty four, which is I need to go down three more levels, and then we can have like a proper like uh nether area. I don't know. <laughs> It's it's gonna be a bit scuffed, but we're gonna it's gonna work. Trust me, I, I have the idea. Okay, um, <laughs> this is actually gonna look really insane if we make this ceiling a little bit larger. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to also do something with all of this. Um, huh. Ah, oh, emptying out my inventory for the, like the tenth time. It's great. It's really great. We're actually starting to stock up a lot on. Really random stuff. Why is there a snowball there? Okay, so it's a it's a little later. Um, the next day, actually, in fact, and I have come up with a really cool idea, and I mean, like, it's so cool. Um, I tested in creative; it works like a treat. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have um, behind this nether portal, stained glass. Uh, going down to there, going up there. Um, going back like quite a few blocks. Quite a few layers. Um, and what we're going to do with that it was, is we're going to actually create a like a stained glass effect where it um, slowly fades out. Um, and basically what that means is that like it looks like it, we're looking into the alternate dimension, the nether. And we have a dispenser over here which is fire and that we press a button or walk on a pressure plate and it lights it for us. So it's an automatically lighting uh, nether portal. I guess, and then we can look past it into the um, red, like, what would you call it, red fade, I guess, and another really cool thing I experimented with was um, putting zombie pigmen behind behind it, but zombie pigmen are getting removed in the next update, so we're going to have to figure something out there, they're actually going to be replaced with zombie piglins, <laughs> so I guess it's not going to be much of a difference, um, but still. We, I, I think we'll get some mobs in there, and then we can make it really look like um, it's a proper diorama type thing. First things first, we're digging at a massive area, which means... Well, it's not really massive, it's just a large amount, which means we need to actually get a beacon in there. Would you believe it? I just built the beacon just out of reach. So, uh, yeah. Great. Okay, we made actually really good time on that. I keep on saying that, but I think we are doing pretty well so far. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these vines because they're really annoying me. This is this is turning out really well. Um, I'm gonna go craft a heap of red concrete now because uh, we're gonna need a lot. I think if I calculate correctly, we're gonna need... I'm not gonna need anything here, except I might turn that all to stone just so it's nice and neat. Uh, we're gonna need it on layering this. So how big is this? We don't need any there. Same over here, because we're going to have, like, red concrete on either side, so it's out of view. And then we're going to have red concrete coming up this wall, so we don't need any there. I'm just going to go safe here and craft, like, four stacks of red concrete. We'll see how much we need afterwards. Concrete acquired. I don't know what's wrong with this, but, um, for some reason, my calculations got a bit fumbled, and I just did about, um, a third of the whole thing and used up four stacks of red concrete. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna have to go now and make some more. Concrete acquired number two. We have got everything crafted except for this, which I'm thinking about spreading a little bit in the snow, um, to make it look like the portal is sort of creeping out of the nether. I don't know. <laughs> uh but I think I could use a concrete powder for something. Okay, I just got the roof to go now. Um I think I'll have just enough concrete. Maybe not. Um probably not. So yeah, we're going to have to work something out. I'm thinking, why don't I quickly add in the glass so that we can get um, all the mob proofing done. I've also brought carpet along because, I mean, wool along so I can make it into carpet. Because I'm thinking, uh, there's going to be a mob spawning all in here if I don't do anything about it. So yeah, I think carpet's the way to go. Good thing I didn't convert all of this into glass, um, cyan glass I mean. I still have a very large amount left. Okay, I've done some calculations and each panel sort of thing, each um, window of glass, takes about um, 
two stacks plus 30, two and a, two, almost two and a half stacks. So hopefully I have enough. Um, if not, I'm going to be using a lot of red dye. Okay, um, I've done the whole thing. Well, all the stained glass at least. And I must say it looks quite good. I'm okay with this. This, this is the nether portal. I'm going to add in a pressure plate somewhere. So I can like automatically light this thing and we can have a dispenser here. And then it automatically breaks as well, which will be cool. Um, now I just got to cover it all with stone, make it look like it is a proper like organic structure, I guess. I don't know. I, th I think I can get a bit imaginative this time. <laughs> and the portal now looks something like this so that when we light it, it'll just go purple and it'll contrast really well, I think. Yeah. So now, um, all that's left with making this thing is sort of just making all of this a cave, like here, but more wide and I guess more detailed, I don't know. I think we'll start with every, all, like all of this. Well, the nether portal and all of the cave has been done now, um, I think I might just add in some snow and then that might be all we have time for because... We've done a lot this episode. We've gone and collected a heap of um, resources and everything, made it into a shulker box for us to go to the nether, and now we're creating this massive project, which um, I didn't even really know we were going to be doing it. I just sort of decided it when I finished the thing. Um, <laughs> it, it, was gonna, it started off just a little nether portal, but now it's a whole lot grander, a whole lot more cool. And I'm glad, I'm glad that we're doing this because it's, it's kind of cool, it's kind of amazing how we're doing it. There we go. It is done for now. We have a nether portal that will be functioning in the future. Actually, more like in like a day or two, depends on when I upload this. But yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. This is very nice, I must say. I'm so excited for the nether update, I can't wait. Anyway, you know what else I can't wait for? The next episode where you guys will be watching because you're going to be subscribed. Anyway, <laughs> nah, okay, so yeah, that does it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I did. I say that every time, but like I actually did enjoy this one. Well, um, then that's it. Uh, see ya.